Hi everyone, this is Tal back again with another Doxy tutorial. Now in this tutorial I wanted to address a new feature that has recently been added to Doxy which is called inline image. Now inline image allows you to embed icons and images right into your Doxy text. It is really easy to do so let's get started. All you need to do is find a certain location where you want to place the inline image just by using your mouse to click that location. So if I want to put something right in here, then I click these three dots, scroll down, click inline image. I, ever, I can add any image here that I've already uploaded from my desktop. Also, additionally, you can enter a URL where the image is located as well and set the size so that's awesome to know now in this case I would like to add this Django image set the size uh, about that much update and now I have a Django image and of course if I don't like this size it's too big or whatnot I can change it there we go so now I have a smaller little icon of Django so have fun with this, it's really nifty and handy, especially when you have a help guide in which you need to express different kind of situations to your customers. Um, you can show different icons to help them understand how to use their, the user help guide or the user guide in which that you've created. And this is an awesome tool that you can use. Other features which you can find in this uh, panel is the key or button which is really fun I'm going to show you how to use it in a second keyword or definition and symbol now let's take a look at key button and see what that does so if I highlight something and then I go to key or button it's going to turn it into a button now this is great because you can also simultaneously send it somewhere else uh, through a link or whatnot and that way you can have these buttons linked. But the main thing is that they'll stand out from the other aspect of your text. Now let's see what else we have here. So we have this keyword or definition. Now this will mainly italicize it and put these lines under it, which will make it stand out as well. Okay, let's unhighlight that. And let's check symbols. These are just the ability to add various symbols, emojis, and whatnot to spice up your documentation and make them more appealing. So, so let's add a symbol right here at the end. Let's click on here, symbol, and um, let's see something interesting. Let's see more. Now let's go here. This one. Let's do this one and yeah I just added a silly symbol but you can play around with this a lot of our users find this really useful because they add different symbols for different situations so that their customers can have a more enjoyable experience using and reading their documentation so this is Tal again from Doxy I hope that you found this tutorial useful on the next tutorial I will show you a, a new feature which we updated within our comments section. Thank you for your time and I hope that you have a nice day.